Hey everyone, Arrow 17 is back, and let's continue on. Hopefully we don't get killed by rats, like I said earlier. Let's see. No rats right now. Hey, a shield. Let's equip that. Let's equip that shield. Awesome. You see, now we have the shield gives you plus two defense, so now our defense is at two. Uh oh, rat. Here he comes. What are we gonna do? Oh my god! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. That was close. He's got a bow. And he's got some arrows. And he's got armor! Oh my god! We are just lucking out right now. So now we can toss our sackcloth sandals and our sackcloth shirt. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> and equip the Ruff Leather Curious and the Ruff Leather Boots. That gives us armor now. As you see, we have two torches now. Because your torches do eventually go out. I'm, and this is also the lock picking tutorial. If you have a lock pick, you can try to pick most locks. Move the pick upward in a tumbler. Into a tumbler. When the tumbler reaches the top of the lock, press A to secure it in place. When all tumblers are at the top, the lock will open. See? It's that easy. And we get money. Gold is the mon is the money in the game. And of course, sapphires are the like gems and stuff. Like in real life. So anyway, they're saying something about equipping the bow. So we'll equip the bow, and then we're going to hit that bucket. Now you're ready to practice with your bow. The bucket near the well will make a good target. To draw an aim, pull the right trigger. Release it when you're ready to fire. Oh yeah. Nice shot. Thank you, game. You can retrieve arrows from the world, as well as recovering some of the arrows you fire into enemies. So right now I'm just going to keep my sword. But yeah, see? Like they said, you can actually, you can, you can retrieve the arrows. And look, a goblin! Th this is a potion of sorcery, it basically restores your magicka, and these are scrolls. Chameleon is basically like, it, um, it makes you like, partially invisible for a short amount of time. It doesn't work unless, it, it works, but like, it doesn't work to its best potential unless you have like, um, like 90 or 100 percent chameleon, and then flash bulb is basically like the fire spell, and he has a key on him too. So we'll heal up a bit and enter the imperial subterranean. I'm just wondering what that squeaking noise is because I keep getting up so I can um, like check what time it, like check out how much time I have left. We're at three minutes right now, so all right. Th that that was for the spells and stuff. So see, we have the flare spell ability. So, get into a nice position. And boom! Yeah, it's so awesome. And look, we got more arrows, and we got better armor, and lockpicks, and more torches. Awesome. So, now we can toss the leather cuirass, and equip the iron cuirass, and the iron greave, and toss the sack pants. And I'm going to re-equip my healing spell, because healing is a big part in this game. So let's continue onward. Rat. More rats. Oh my god, what the fuck is that? Oh my god. Oh my god, kill it, kill it, kill it. Yeah, I'll explain what the eye thing is in a little bit. We should get up to what it is in this part of the tutorial. And that's a fatigue potion, so I'll just pick that up real quick. Because you really do want fatigue potions in this game. Because if you run out of fatigue, you're basically screwed. Uh, let's see. And here's some more rats. Die, rat. And here's uh, another shield. So 
So I'll put that right now and get rid of the rough leather sh rough leather shield. Actually, no, I'll, I'll keep the rough leather shield. I might sell it later. Then there's a helmet right there. Helmets don't really provide that much more like protection, in my opinion. So I usually don't pick them up. They just, they're just basically there to add weight. Because as you see by the sorry, if you see by the little feather on the bottom, 108 out of 150. Yeah, that basically means you can carry, like, and see how there's feathers on every item that I have. That basically means that I can carry about 42 more, I'm guessing the feather means pounds, so 42 more pounds of items. So anyway, we're continuing, after I get unstuck, we're continuing through the tutorial area. Hey, a sec. I got lockpicks on a potion of healing, nice. Alright. There's a barrel right there, it's got some ale in it. I'll take the. Everyone loves booze. And no, I don't drink booze because I'm underaged. And now. Uh, kill another rat. Another rat. And that that was what I was talking about before. Remember I showed you that little wheel on the journal page? That's Hakeem. Basically means... I'll show you in a second after I loot these gems from this skeleton. And lockpicks. Potion. A regular potion, I feel like. That's, that's a little better than the weak potion. And now this is basically helps you with alchemy. Which, I'll sh which will also be shown in this tutorial video. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, when I hold down the Y button, um, we get that little wheel pops up. So we get the hockey stuff. So I'm gonna hockey. I usually hockey my heal my rune spell to the lower right, the lower right corner, and my flare spell usually to that until I get better spells. And then the torch usually I put there. And then sometimes, put, and then I also put when you will eventually find a repair hammer. I put it on the top right corner. But yeah, then I'll hockey the steel short sword. You'll see why in a little bit. And now look, when I hit, it all works on the D pad. So when I hit left on the D pad, I get my steel short sword equipped. Just like when I hit up, I get my torch equipped. My flare spell gets equipped when I hit right, and my Healing spell gets quick when I hit bottom right. Nice, it's, a, it's a nice little way to play through the game. So let's continue onward into the natural caverns this time. Whoa. That was close. I almost knocked my camera down. Okay. So we're in the natural caverns now. And let's go. Whoa. Ooh, a goblin. These guys are tough. He hasn't seen us yet, though. That's, that's lucky. So we're not able to sneak by him. That's what that crosshair thing is, so... When the crosshair changes to the eye, that means we're sneaking. So I'm just going to go as slow as possible. Oh shit, I almost forgot. <laughs> I have boots on. Yeah, when your sneaking skill is, like, very low, even boots, like, even, like, the boots will make it worse. So, very quietly. And see how fast my sneak seal's going up? Okay. Get ready, and attack! Bam, he's dead. Ooh, a roasted rat. And see on the top it says sneak attack for four times the damage? That basically means that exactly that. When you when you sneak mode, you get to attack with more damage. Now a very easy chest, and it's got lockpicks and oh, whoops, torch. Lockpicks, money, and another torch. That's this is a mortar and pestle. This basically allows you to make potions and stuff. So we'll take those two. I'm just gonna show you how this works. I I like making potions just because it helps my um, alchemy skill. And now that is. 
a, this is a poison. Originally when I played this game, I thought poisons hurt you. I'm wrong, apparently. It basically you poison your weapon. Which makes a lot more sense. And look! Ah! Sweet! Honestly, that was like the first time I noticed that was there. Like, every time I played through this, I used to just like... Shoot arrows at him. I never knew this was here either. Well, I'm almost out of time. I'm like at 10.50. So I'll, I'll guess I'll hear the rest of the tutorial in the next part. Bye.